McEwen pine had started in the, in the days of the convicts here. They, they built boats on Sarah Island, of course, and, and uh, they took the logs to Hobart, and it was quite a lucrative business. As a, they to travel all around the, the southwest of Tasmania and, and up as far as the Pineman River, uh, getting hue and pine logs, and, and they were taken back to Hobart, and they were quite valuable those days. The nature of the resistance on Sarah Island changed quite dramatically, helped by the arrival of another man. His name is David Hoy, a master shipwright from Dundee in Scotland. While David Hoy is here, he builds 96 ships and boats in five years. That's one coming off the slips every three weeks. Isn't that extraordinary? They discovered when they first came to, to settle Tasmania down in the Huon River, and of course they found the, the logs there and they found that they were washed, apparently washed up in the shore where trees had must have you know, got blown down and washed up and they found it was so, still very, very good timber and it was ideal for boat building. And then they also found that it stopped the Torito worm that was a scourge of wooden boats. It stopped him boring into the, into the hulls and sinking them. So, yeah, that, it was very, very good timber and it was you know, known all over the world. Dad spent a lot of time up in the river, not at home, and same as Donnie's dad too. They were piners and they'd well, go away for months at a time and come home. And They had a lot of orders for boat boards and things at that time. The timber for the Denison Star was cut down at the mill with Dad and his brothers, and that was all hill and pine. And now it's still going today, but it's a tourist operation today, whereas they, they don't cut the big hill and pine timber anymore. Strange as it might be, we, Dad was a hewn pine all his life. Our house just smelled of hewn pine. It was sawdust everywhere, but we never had any hewn pine furniture because <laughs> Mum didn't like it. <laughs> yeah.